So how do antibodies help us in this regard? So anti-centromere antibodies, and again, actually, I'm pleased that my numbers here fit with the data from the Royal Free. So about one in three patients will carry these anti-centromere antibodies. And these anti-centromere antibodies have such a strong clinical relationship that they actually named a condition pretty much after patients who are carrying these antibodies, this CREST syndrome. And many of you will receive copies of clinic letters to your GPs in which the word CREST syndrome is used. CREST syndrome, the, each of the letters of CREST syndrome represents a different clinical manifestation of systemic sclerosis. C is calcinosis, R is Raynaud's, E refers to problems with the esophagus and the gullet. Uh, S is sclerodactyly, which refers to skin thickening on the fingers. And T is the telangiectasis, which are the small, uh, harmless, uh, dilated blood vessels that occur in the skin, uh, which can look unsightly and cause problems with body image dissatisfac uh, dissatisfaction, but are otherwise harmless. So Raynaud's can be quite severe in people carrying this antibody. And about 6 in 10 people will develop finger ulcers at some point in their disease course. But actually, only about one in six, going back to the 15% rule, will have recurrent ulcers that are occurring winter after winter. There's about one in five chance in developing pulmonary arterial hypertension. This is probably the most severe manifestation that can occur within this uh, patient group. But again, that tells us that four out of five patients who carry this antibody will never develop pulmonary arterial hypertension. And if you carry anti-centromere antibodies, you can be fairly confident that you'll never develop the widespread skin thickening that you'll see when you Google systemic sclerosis. It's very unlikely you'll ever have any problems uh, related to your kidneys or any significant scar tissue formation on the lungs. So just by knowing this, there's a number of things that you can rule out will ever happen to you virtually. I'm afraid none of these rules are completely set in stone.